Hi everyone, my name is Patty Foran. Uh, this is Stacey and Pound Canard, the treachery of Hacker News. If you speak French, you'll notice I spelled something wrong there. Uh, bonus points if you can figure out what. Um, ooh, I've got a countdown timer. This is really cool. Uh, today I want to talk to you a little bit about Hacker News and communities and making things. Uh, my employer had me write a blog post for them, uh, for our blog, about you know using message queues. And as part of it, they wanted me to include an image because everyone likes images. So I had to include an image, I was like, it's a message queue. I want to use ducks in a line, like queuing up, because ducks like queuing. So I used this image here. And uh, there's giggles, so I can see everyone's like, figured out what I figured out. I was like, those don't really look like ducks. And I thought about this, and I was like, wait, I have to call them ducks. Because you see, on the Flickr page, the artist calls them ducks. And I knew, I knew if I used this image, there was going to be that one guy on Hacker News that's like, ha, the artist says those are ducks, not geese. So you can't call them geese, those are ducks. The artist has authority. And you know, you really need to respect the artistic integrity, like the authority of the author. And I was like, OK, so I'm going to call these geese, or I'm going to call these geese ducks. What's the worst that can possibly happen? Um, <laughs> Judging by the giggles, you all know what could possibly happen. Uh, the article hit number one on Hacker News. We got a bunch of comments. My employers were really pleased, but I was personally a little bit less pleased about this turn of events because, as you can guess, uh, the worst thing that could possibly happen is that all the comments I get about this are, hey, you idiot, those aren't actually ducks, those are geese. <laughs> So I was like, wait, this feels a little bit ironic that, you know, I tried to avoid this and instead walked right into this trap. But um, you would think that I was paranoid for this. That's not actually the case. Uh, like a year ago, I wrote some software, a distributed hash table written in Go, actually. Um, and I was really nervous about releasing it. And I kind of decided I was going to sneak it in under the table and release it to the Go community. And uh, they were just going to give me feedback because distributed hash tables are really hard. Like, there's a lot of math in those things. Uh, and I was an English major. So that was not like a real. <laughs> That was the first time I've done anything that hard. So I was just going to kind of sneak it in under the table and let the Go community give me feedback and then maybe do more public release later. Um, as you can guess, uh, that also hit number one on Hacker News. And I got thousands of page views in a night. Um, so yeah, that also got a bunch of attention from people. So I was a little bit leery about this. But uh, when I hit number one on Hacker News this time, I, of course, did not walk away unscathed either. Uh, breakdown of the comments I received. 13% were, why did you choose that name? 57% uh, were, why didn't you use RabbitMQ or my other favorite technology? And then a good 30% were other. Um, probably like 15% were actually about it. And this confused me because a hacker is supposed to be someone that likes to make things. Like I thought that was like part of my job is to enjoy making things. But people seemed really, really upset that I like made something, which didn't really make sense to me. Um, I got like comments that were like, why didn't you use something that already existed? And I was like, well, I made something and gave it to you. My bad. Um, so, like, I kind of sat around and I was thinking about this, like, okay, so how do I deal with this? Because I see this happen a lot. So there's like this pondering, what do you do now? Um, and I come up with a couple of solutions. I'm going to kind of propose them here. But uh, I think that's kind of the main purpose of my talk. This talk isn't really actually useful. I just want to defend and the giggles have made me. <laughs> Uh, feel better. So one thing is you can, you know, see no evil, just not read the comments. Um, this is actually what I've done, is I just no longer read Hacker News comments, and somehow my life does not seem any emptier than before, um, which is a shock to me, personally. But, so, like, the way I don't read comments is that I, you know, subscribe to, you can't see it, that's a, there's RSS, which is this really cool open standard technology for subscribing to things. Hacker News supports it, go figure. Uh, there's also a Twitter bot um, that you can follow, and it just gives you the links, so you don't see any of the comments, which is really cool. The other thing you can do is if you actually want to read comments, you can be like the proverbial high five in the community. Like, yeah, you made something, go you, instead of, hey, you made something, what's wrong with you? Um, so if you want to try and combat the tide, then I would really encourage giving out high fives. But like the most important thing is this is Neil Gaiman, whose head is cut off. Um, Neil Gaiman gave an awesome talk, like a commencement address at a university. Uh, and the point of his talk was really just that you should continue to make good art. And making good art just means that no matter what happens to you, no matter what bad things happen, just continue doing what you do, because that's what makes you who you are. So continue to make things, even if people get mad at you for making things. And that's really kind of all I wanted to get across today. Um, I do have one more slide. Uh, this is my puppy doing a Velociraptor impression. So I'm going to leave you with that. Thank you very much.